Welcome to WOW TV. My name is Angel and I'm here from the Wizards of Wright program. The WOW program is a part of the Educational Outreach Office here at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Today we're going to talk about bridges and then by working together, your class will build one. Are you ready to get started? Let's go. Do you think life would be different without bridges? Are there places we couldn't get to? Or are there places that are easier to get to because of bridges? People who lived during the 1850s were faced with this situation when heading west to explore the U.S. frontier. They walked and traveled with covered wagons pulled by horses or oxen. Often, they would either have to cross streams or rivers or travel many miles out of the way to find a good place to cross. If a river was too high or dangerous, they were forced to wait, sometimes days or weeks. Traveling this way could be dangerous and definitely slower. Throughout history, bridges have served as links for survival and the success of a city. All bridges are unique. They pass over a different roadway, river, canyon, or even a railroad track. All of these obstacles are different, and therefore the bridges that cross them must be designed especially for them. Where a bridge is built and the kind of environment it is in must be considered during the design process. This includes how to anchor the foundation and minimize weathering from the climate. Now let's talk about why bridges were built and how. Some of the earliest bridges were just trees or logs that had fallen and were carried over to the water. Sometimes cutting down a tree was the solution to crossing a gully. We call these natural bridges. They made it easier to cross over small rivers and ravines so other communities could be reached or resources could be gathered. While natural bridges are inexpensive and effective for human travel, they were only good for very light loads. Later, bridges were made by tying wooden boards together with strong rope. These bridges made it possible for more people to cross, and transporting materials could begin with the use of carts and wagons. These bridges, though, were fairly weak, and heavy loads were restricted. Think about how wind or rain might affect these rope bridges. Strong winds might cause the bridge to swing back and forth, and heavy rain could wash away the ground that supports the bridge, or wash away the bridge itself. Ancient Romans had actually created stone arch bridges, known as some of the strongest and most durable. Even today, many are still standing and being used. Other designs suspend wire bridges that span large canyons and bodies of water. Today, the use of stronger materials like steel, concrete, and cables allows the construction of even larger bridges capable of supporting many more automobiles. Bridges are designed by civil and structural engineers. Teams of engineers decide what type of bridge is needed and what materials it should be built out of. They determine if the area or land is good, design the plans, and figure out the cost. There are three main types of bridges, beam, arch, and suspension bridges. Usually the obstacle to be overcome, another road, a river, a canyon, or even a railroad track, is the main factor in determining which bridge type is best to use. Besides looking different, the main difference in these bridges is the distance each can safely cross. The main reason for the differences in span lengths is how each bridge type handles the two forces that act on a bridge, tension and compression. Compression is a force that compresses or shortens whatever it is acting on. Tension is a force that expands or lengthens what it is acting on. Think of a spring, like a slinky. If we push in on both ends of the spring, Pushing the ends towards each other, we are compressing the spring. The force of compression shortens the spring. If we pull both ends of the spring apart and away from each other, we are stretching the spring. The force of tension lengthens the spring. Compression and tension forces affect all bridges, and it is the job of engineers to design bridges capable of handling these forces. Now we want you to feel these forces. Teachers, in a moment, each student will need a partner. They should stand face to face and gently press their palms together at about shoulder height, like a high five. Then they should slowly lean into each other. When they're finished, ask them to describe what they feel, where they feel it, and what they think is causing the feeling. I'll meet you back here when your students have completed this. Now, let's feel tension. Teachers, have the partners stand and face each other again. Have the pairs grab hands and gently lean away from each other. When they're finished, again, ask them to describe what they feel, 
where they feel it and what they think is causing the feeling. I'll meet you back here when they've completed this. The shape of a structure and its individual parts is often as important as the material the structure is made of. The triangle is the strongest shape. While other shapes can be bent into many different forms, the triangle always keeps the same shape. It is the strongest. Why is that? Well, the reason is because all of the other shapes, all of the angles can change. However, in the triangle, the angles cannot change. The angles are fixed three sides and three angles, and each one is fixed by the side opposite of it. As you build your bridge, look for all of the triangles. Now that you've learned a bit more about bridges, it's time for your class to build one. Teachers, you have a complete set of directions in your binder. We've also added these directions at the end of this video if you need it. The bridge will be built on the floor and then placed onto desks or sturdy chairs so everyone can crawl through it this might be a great time to take some pictures. The bridge shouldn't go anywhere, but it's always a good idea to have someone stationed on the ends, just in case. Teachers, once everyone has settled down, you can then review the reasons for bridges, kinds of bridges, compression and tension, structural shapes, and why triangles are strong. Now it's time to build your bridge. Remember, you are engineers working as a team to solve a problem. Teachers, thanks so much for using this WOW lesson, and please check out more at our website at WPAFBSTEM.com.